true one. Why have pictures? As um, Tony Khan just said, just go with the flow, right? So I was always interested in art from the time I was six years old. And I used to treat my bedroom as a gallery. And what happened is I wanted to either do music or art. And I said, um, I pursued music, I did art, but I just love art more. So from there, I went to community college. I did my associate degree in fine art, in visual arts. And then I decided to pursue it more and do my bachelor's. So I went to Barbados Community College, and I, what happened is the students had to think up of a theme. And my theme was dream. And what happened is um, dreams are very surreal. And I did paintings. So then I said, well, dreams got more motion in it too. So what happened is um, I taught myself hand drawing animation. And I did five animations. And I did installation and um, paintings. And when people come and the viewers come and saw my work, some people actually run away and, and was saying, what, what on earth is this? But at the same time, I like that because I had um, a girl with a penis, and then I had a girl in a male bathroom, or a guy cutting off his tongue. And from there, I was very intrigued by how the viewers, how they um, react to my work. But, um, right, so I would just go with the flow. So from there, um, I decided to be an artist, and I was very down because um, the day I had anyone like around my age, like pretty something that I could look up to and say, well, she or he did this. So I said, well, okay. I, I spoke to Alison Thompson, one of my teachers, and she said, Sheena, you can become an international artist. I, I cried and I said, Miss Thompson, you sure? And she said, Sheena, you can. So from there, I didn't have a studio, I had my bedroom and had my light box and continue working and working it. So one day a creator from London named David Bailey, he wanted to organize this huge art show. And when you was, nobody didn't know who I was, right? And they only know me a little bit because I had my first exhibition name, Time of the Sign of the Time, when I showed my animation. And people were like, who's this Sheena Rose? You know? And I, I felt a little fussy, you know, a little excited. But the curator, David Bailey, he came and he had this grand idea of having international artists and local artists show in Bridgetown. I said, Eureka, I did an animation called Town, so maybe I can show it in Bridgetown, you know? And it matched perfect. So they saw the animation and they, they really enjoyed it because I didn't want to show the stereotype of our country, you know, the vendors, the donkey carts. I wanted to show a normal girl doing shopping and she going to Bridgetown and she walking around silhouettes with words in them. And these words are problems we face, like electric bill, you know, health. And people were really intrigued because they never see uh, hand-drawn animation done about um, Barbados this way. So a lot of people say, hey, you could be a commercial artist. I said, no, my dream is to become an international artist. I want to show around the world. So UNDP, Leslie Legacy, um, is a group. They heard about me, and what happened is, oh, throughout this show, while I was showing, I met a lot of curators and gallery owners and stuff, and they really liked my work. And UNDP, United Nations Development Plan, and Leslie Legacy, they heard about me and wanted to help sponsor me and help, um, you know, help me get there, follow my dream. So I met Antigua, I had a presentation, and then from there, I was invited by Christopher Kozer to um, show my work at Alice Yard in Trinidad. So I said, wow, I showed on outside Barbados. <laughs> so I met Trinidad, showed my animation, and then I had to do 24 hour artist residency, which I had to show, I had to produce work in one day, I had an exhibition in one day. I'm like, so, so I started working, started brainstorming everything, and people really enjoy it, and they, they all, my work, it always document things. I don't like to, how to say, I don't like to use fantasy, I like to use things that I see around me. So my work was dealing about, um, again, personal issues and electric bills, but I treat people
the a comet strip. So I will take a balloon from Garfield and put it next to their head and let people will maybe laugh or get offended by these comments. So from there, I um, continue to be an artist. My name started to get out there a little bit. And then I checked my email and see I was recommended to show the states, show Connecticut with among the contemporary Caribbean artists. I jumped up and down, I was so excited because I said, wow, so, so great. And I was curated by Yona Backer and Christina Newman, Newman Scott. And I was so excited and I traveled to New York and then Connecticut and I was so excited to see my animation town was showing there. So then when I came back, I said, you know what, I really want to become an international artist. And I decided to continue my animations and plan this imaginary solo show to motivate me. And I start talking to people around me saying, well, you can become an artist, you know? So from there, um, again, I come home and I saw this email. Someone, Chris Coulter, um, recommended me to go to South Africa, Cape Town, to do a three months residency at Great Moore Art Studios. And I was so excited because I never thought in my life that I would go to Africa. And I went there and it was so amazing. I visit you know, some Mandela, they have World Cup going on. I went to Cape um, Table Mountain, everything. And it was so amazing. And it was like, you see a different culture, and then it really influenced my work. And I started working on large theater. I started doing animations, more animations. And when I came back, um, I was, I show in Washington, D.C. this year too. And this was just last year, I went to South Africa. And when I went, um, when I show in Washington, D.C. among Caribbean artists again, I could have, well, I could have, I could have gone, but I went to New York to meet curators, because my name started to get up there more, and organize shows to maybe show in New York, and I started to get really, really excited that, again, that my dream was slowly coming true, and people in Barbados start to hear about my art, and start to get motivated too, and um, really, you know, she didn't want to be an international artist too because it's really hard to be an artist, but then to see you traveling like this, it's, po it's really possible. So, when I show in Washington, D.C., I went to Suriname for three months, and I had to, I was invited by Marcel Pinas, and I had a teach case on there, and, and I had to do an installation. Now, mind you, um, I'm accustomed to doing animation and paperwork. I, I don't do sculptures. The installation is when um, you can interact with it. Like, it could be audio or it could be sound, right? It could be audio or visual, but it had to be permanent. So I was like, okay, I don't do 3D. 3D is like sculpture. But what happened is I looked around Suriname and I saw these hand-painted signs on the, on the buildings. And I got inspired by that and I decided to do billboards in Suriname, and, and then right, I decided to do billboards that people could relate to them because I don't really see billboards in Barbados in an artistic way, only advertising, like, protect yourself from AIDS or stuff like that. And they were, I always get intrigued by the commercial side and also documenting my life. So while I was in Suriname, besides doing billboards, I also get to meet artists, I get to teach children in the jungle. I had to stay in Mungo and teach children in Dutch and my you only know Bajan and English. So <laughs> it's really hard to teach the kids. So the first day I taught these kids, they were like making fun of me, you know what I mean? And, and then I was like, do you understand? And they're like making fun of me, like, oh, how she can't speak our language? One day I mashed them up, man. I called it. Babaka! That means, how are you doing? Yeah, it's a joke. Alasama, mix up the color, three colors. Blow, kill, and throw. They say, they start talking the language, but they don't understand them. But the main important is I can translate and talk to them and teach them art. So when I come back now, this is three months ago, this is this year. I decided to create a group named Project and Space because being in Suriname, I felt a little bit isolated because I couldn't speak the language, but also um, being in the jungle, I mean, it's a little crazy, you know? Because I can't speak to nobody, you know what I mean? I see snakes and stuff. I said, man, I want to go home because Barbados got this, we got that, we got galleries and so 
don't know. When I come by the same thing, only thing is Bajan and English. And I said, no, the whole time we join all the arts together, we should join dancers, musicians, artists, writers. Uh, what Tony Tarn did here, he got me a little miss. We should got more of this. And I decided, you know what? Um, we should do this for real. We should join all the arts and meet each other. Because there's two galleries just shut down, so we have less space to show. And what will happen if you collaborate with a poet and a dancer, or an artist and a musician, you know? So on Facebook, uh, we started to talk with 100 people. And then today we have 518. So I just show you that a lot of people felt this way like me too. And this is not just Barbados, this is also in the region. And then it's outside the region now, it's in India and South Africa, America now, people are now joining in this group. And we had three meetings so far, and I don't want it to be about just me. I want more people to feel this way that I can become an international artist, I can become an international performer, or stuff like that. Because my, my speech is not about me doing all this successful stuff. I, I don't want all the spotlight on me. I want to feel comfortable that when I travel, I can call this person in, that person in, this person in. So I just want, and I'm not, um, my studio is not my bedroom no more. I have actually a studio. I, I fit in it up and invite people to come over and, and you know, just read books and get inspired. So my speech is almost done. I think it's done now. It's just, y'all know my key thing already. I want to be an international artist. People say I am already, but to me, I want more. I want to be in books. I want to, you know what? I want project space to grow. I got a lot more to do. So that's about it. And yeah, slideshow is just going to be cool, just like 2020. Okay. <laughs>